At this point, I couldn't hold it any longer to see some real tests. So I connected temporarily a servo motor as a Z-axis and simulated a 3D print but only on the same layer. As you see, it seems pretty okay, except a millimeter which was off on one of the axes, but it was fixed later on. At that point, the schematics looked like this. The communication between the computer and the Arduino is through the USB cable. For the software part, I first started by creating a simple model using Blender, then saving it as an STL file, which I will load later on using Replicator, which will allow me to generate the G code. Then I save it into a new empty file. I've used a simple Python script that will go through all the lines of the file and finds the line containing X, Y and Z characters and then send them to the Arduino. I will leave the Python and Arduino code in the video description, but please note that they are not complete and not well documented, as they were only for test purpose. Now that the two axes working correctly, I started working on the Z axis. I started with a rectangular shape using the same aluminum bars, holding two stainless steel rods and in between a threaded rod connected to a stepper motor with some gears for more torque. Luckily this time I got my hands on some linear ball bearings matching the exact diameter of the stainless steel rods which helped a lot for a smooth movement of the Z axis. And this is a first test of it. With the third axis in place, I start assembling the filament extruder. Following the 3D model of the extruder I designed with Blender, I started with a piece of wood as a base and making a hole for the servo motor, then mounting the rubber wheels as well as the pressing mechanism. And this is a test after it was assembled. I'm manually adjusting the speed using a potentiometer. The filament is not an ABS nor a PLA plastic, it's actually nylon plastic. Well, it's not commonly used in 3D printing, but I saw a video of a guy successfully printing using a nylon plastic as a filament. So I decided to give it a shot as well, as it's not easy for me to find ABS or PLA. Now comes the part I struggled with the most which is the extruder heater. The first attempt I used uh, an aluminum tube connected to a gas cooker nozzle and wrapped it using a nichrome wire and secured it using a silicon rubber salvaged from a uh, glue gun. The melted plastic starts leaking from everywhere and it was a complete mess. So I started all over again, this time using a piece cut from a stainless steel rod. And this is the first extrusion test. <laughs> 